Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this day where we are returning to the high seas. And that is season two, episode two of Black Sails, where everything is not going as planned. Flint has secured a ship for the fellas on the walrus. And thank you, I guess thank you to all of y'all who let me know that the actor who had played Mr. Dufresne in season one had unfortunately passed away. That is incredibly sad news. So I will try not to be annoyed when I see new Dufresne. I'll just be sad now when I see new Dufresne. But the crew is on a ship intending to leave Flint in Nassau, tried for everything. But I don't think Flint's going to go quietly now that he has actually laid eyes on the gold. One, he knows the ship is real. Two, the gold is real. That's most important. And he knows exactly where it is right now. He's not going to let it go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And Eleanor is dealing with threats from Ned Lowe. There were subtle threats, but there were threats nonetheless. And I say, just shank him right now and get it over with. But then I might not have lasted very long in Nassau if everyone knows I'm quick with the blade. <laughs> okay, I think I am ready to go. I have my water and my citrus beverage is a white sparkling lemonade. I hope you have your favorite beverage and that you remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. And if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get to it. Oh, who staked on the beach? I learned of this technique from a Spanish bishop. Six days, they claim, before the sun mm. shrinks the leather so tight that the ribs collapse, piercing vital organs within. I think he would die of dehydration by the third day. When my men first pulled you out of the sea and brought you back to this garrison. Is this Billy? Is this Billy? I knew we didn't see a body. We didn't see a body. Oh, he's gonna be so upset when he learns Gates is dead. But the Lord beheld the man made in his likeness. And he said, it is not good that he is alone. And a moral of the story? Everybody needs a partner. Oh, now we're back in time. Oh, this time travel. And his wig got changed. I didn't recognize him. I don't believe the pirates are the cause of Nassau's problem. I believe they are a symptom. The root causes are the ones that I would like to address first. The graft of its governor, the incompetence of its managers, the neglect of its lords. Oh, oh, oh. What is it that you believe would truly return Nassau to stable profitability? Farmers, men skilled in the cultivation of sugar and tobacco, foodstuffs to sustain them all for six months, perhaps a year, three ships to transport it all, sailors to sail them, and an honest governor. Mm -hmm. In short, you'd be assembling a colony, boarding it onto ships, transporting it across the Atlantic, and hoping that when it arrives... Right, the thought I had last episode that I forgot about. Let me see if I can remember it this episode. I'm not looking for someone to hold my hand. I need someone who can help me ensure that NASA survives. You can walk away from all this if you wanted. The moment we arrive at NASA, you're free to go anywhere you want. Is he? You mean aside from the share of gold I'd get out of it? Yeah. Because I think he would leave a treasure if it meant his life like that. I don't want to earn money. I don't want to join another crew. One big prize. And with it, freedom. From water. From Randall, from hunger, from wages. Are we going to get John's backstory? Because I'm interested in that. Obviously, as you can tell. No, I'm interested in how he got to be where he is. You and I will both be unceremoniously expelled from this ship. In less than two days, I intend to be a captain again. I suggest you find a way of earning your way back onto this crew as well. I've heard word you confronted the Guthrie. The crew's relationship with her is worth far more than the amount she withheld from the Good Fortune Prize. You're recklessly jeopardizing that relationship. Their relationship. Is Mr. Meeks not 
gonna be around for much longer to them. I'm wondering aloud, if I were to the Lady Guthrie took within an inch of her young life while they watched, would the crew consider her debt to them repaid in full? <laughs> and will they feel the same when the next haul is rejected by her outright? It's an uncertain world, Mr. Meeks. Best to live in the now. So her name means shit to them, apparently. Oh, there must be a way. A way to make me essential. Wow, he's gonna he's gonna brainstorm this out loud in front of Randall. Hurry the fuck up. We're waiting. And don't you dare fing spit in my bowl, Randall. <laughs> oh no. And yet you push him and push him anyway. You're gonna do it anyway, aren't you? No, 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 no
the good fortune yielded up a unique item of great value. Oh, he's spilling the beans. Item? What kind of item? I really cannot say. I'm not exactly sure what it is you think I can do for you, but I've got business. I hear you depose captains. I'm told you have that power. I'm told you've done it before. Simply incompatible with the role I play here now. He is a madman. Oh. And he's fixed on you as an object of his ire. But you have an interest in seeing this resolved as well. Yeah, kind of sorrow there. Wait for me in the bar. We'll continue this conversation. I don't know if he wants to have this conversation in the public there. <laughs> the work you've done for my inn is commendable. My inn. If they yield no spoils. I don't know what you mean. What exactly is happening between you and Anne? <laughs> she wanted me out of the inn. What would you have had me do? Well, I couldn't say, but seducing her was certainly an interesting approach. <laughs> I did my job. Are you asking me to believe that Anne killed eight men, utterly destroyed both our reputations, to say nothing of the damage done to her relationship with me, to remove you from that tent, and that she did it all because she secretly wants to f*** you? Affection. Maybe affection is, is more the word. It sounds like a crass attempt to drive a wedge between my partner and I. Perhaps I'll share that feeling with Anne, and let's just see how quickly she turns that anger in your direction. Hmm. Because I believe that somewhere, somehow, you have known she has wanted this. I'm giving it to her. But Anne seems pretty loyal in general, so I think she'll be loyal to Jack. I am sorry. There is nothing you can do about it. Ooh, this, this, oh, this will be something to see. If I were to suggest, rather than trying to tax Southwest, that we head east. I would say either somebody gave you that idea, somebody was a hell of a sailor, or you've been holding back on me. <laughs> Flint said to avoid it. Why would he do that? Why attempt to scuttle the idea before any of us have even arrived at it? I imagine the idea of this crew taking a prize under your command would be a terrifying prospect. I suppose the only question is, are you prepared to lead them? This is when everybody dies. This Except is when everybody dies. This is when everybody dies. Gentlemen. <gasps> oh, he's going to make a speech. The count of goings on. Volume the first. Weather is fair. Who? Fresh top sail gale north by northeast. What is he reading from? First item. A certain member of this crew, who shall remain nameless, was seen dozing during the night watch. Another member of the same watch took the opportunity to take three pieces from his pocket. What is this plan, John? Just to be the, the ship gossip? What was that? I am convincing the crew to allow me to remain with them. I spent three years at the St. John's home for poor orphan boys. During that time, I knew a boy named Solomon Little. Cleft palate, spotted face. He should have been beaten to within an inch of his life on a daily basis if the laws of nature applied. Yet no one ever laid a finger on him. Because, even at that tender age, he knew it isn't about getting them to like you. It's about reminding them how much they dislike each other. Mm-hmm. You do realize that there's a grown man out there, not boys. <laughs> when it comes to the thrill of ridiculing one's peers, there's little difference. They're just taller and bigger. And stinkier. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't believe this is all we got for If I may, ma'am, I consider it a triumph. I made it back here at all. I was met with great skepticism at every turn. It was all in good order. Oh, but your family's name, ma'am. Hmm. Taking it word spread. Spread. At a certain point, I had to frighten him into believing there would be reprisals against him if he were to arrest me. By whom? Yeah. Who was gonna, who was gonna be the muscle? By whom? Did you suggest there would be reprisals against him? Did you use Mr. Fraser's name? Captain Nerfs, then. We know whose name he used. Or did you use mine? 
You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is when Mr. Meeks dies. He's gone. He's gonna. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, Mr. Meeks is dying. I swore an oath to those men to protect them from their captain. Oh, did he now? Who? From themselves when called for. Perhaps this is just the act of a spineless traitor, in which case. I have a duty to do something about it. Well, we saw this coming. This venture is on shaky footing. How long before the street realizes this? But I do not believe. Not at all. Not for an instant. Is it you have any concern for me? I can't protect you from this. My men follow me because I serve their interests first. To ask them to protect a tyrant, too weak to enforce her own tyranny. I will have a very hard time convincing them. Mm -hmm. And they did this in her bar, in her place of business. <sighs> so, Eleanor, you gotta shank him now. Just dispense. You gotta do it now. You gotta state state your power. I don't want to see you in my place again. I don't want to see you on my island again. Take your shit and seek life elsewhere. Where are you, sir? No. Nope. You had to have killed him then. I am so frustrated. <laughs> Eleanor, you're getting your man killed. <sighs> Eleanor, you getting your men killed. Eleanor, you know he's a dumbass. He's gonna do it. You're too weak. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm afraid I'm simply enjoying myself way too much to consider leaving this place. He's the captain now. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other soon. Did she seriously think that just by saying... Don't. That was gonna be enough? But Charles is gonna go, man, this bitch ass guy can't come in and take over my power either. But, if you're trying to impress me, it isn't working. I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. I can't even form a sentence right now. Goings on. Volume the fourth. Why is your back turned to them? Sun's set in roughly three hours. Well, I guess they don't have television or a newspaper. They need some sort of entertainment. A certain member of the rigging crew, who shall remain nameless, was moving his bowels over the side. He was spotted considering the stick and instead chose to wipe <laughs> with the bare palm of his hand. That he just punched you with. Next item! He's got paper and pen to write this all down with. A member of the Pin. Third Watch entered the pen late last night. Evidence of his presence was clear. As upon inspection, the dairy goat's anus was irritated from overuse. Oh. Why are these men telling on themselves? You fuck the dairy goat. <laughs> He, he, did he like the goat? <laughs> well, that's one day. It's one day. Anyone up for a little hunting? Is this when they fail? Or are they going to succeed? Hmm. <laughs> they succeed in spite. I think this is what he wanted. My concern with you is over that which cannot be known. 
thing which arises in you when passions are aroused. Good sense escapes you. You kill one of your best mates. <laughs> but when exposed to extremes, I could not imagine what it is capable of. I'm not sure you do either. <laughs> They'll just hang up top deck, watch from the balcony. <laughs> I don't need to explain to you the stakes of what happened if Mr. Dufresne is successful in taking this prize. Took me a while to get a feel for this part of it. Raise the black too soon and the prize will run. Raise it too late and you'll induce panic and a greater chance of resistance. And there's a black sail on that ship. How did it get there? Well, if you come up alongside of them, won't you be like, cannons at the ready? Oh, their sails come down. Are they a pirate ship too? They gave up that easy? Oh, wait. This is when Flint. <laughs> takes the Spanish warship and Dufresne takes the ship. Are there any men lying in wait below? All of them. Answer truthfully. A thousand. But the consequences will be severe. It is as you see it. The eye roll is great. <laughs> this is the most dangerous part. His mind is drowning in questions. I love how he's teaching John how to be a pirate captain. <laughs> You hope that he doesn't realize that the thing that he thought he was surrendering to, that that thing is nowhere to be found. Yeah, he isn't quite as, ooh, to frame, you're gonna get struck from behind. Are you him? I beg your pardon? I said, are you him? Are you Captain Flint? And this is how Flint gets control of his captaincy. <gasps> you do not want to test us. <laughs> they don't fear ships. They don't fear swords. Mm. And what do they fear? People. Whoa! <laughs> Frame, your people are dying. They're dying. <laughs> Will, will Flint have anybody to crew his ships? <gasps> and he scampered back on board. He scampered back on board. Suppress the front line. Friend. We have lost the day. Ooh, and DeGroote says we're done. What are we waiting for? Why aren't we moving? Give the order, Mr. Dufresne. We must get underway. Why the fuck are we waiting for him? Because he's in charge here. No one is in fucking charge here. You have to sink her. <gasps> You cannot just escape, you have to sink that ship. Because the word... If a single one of those men lives to tell the tale, no one will ever surrender before that flag again. Mm -hmm. Again, it's all about the people, the name. The name that draws fear. <laughs> you killed everyone. Cut us loose, get us on the way. Cut us loose! Get us on the way! You killed everyone. Go cruise on the ready! Oh, he's just going. He's just going. destruction such destruction to prove a point i get it again i understand but oh <laughs> yeah he's the captain and eleanor uh, she has zero authority now zero right right i don't see a move i can make from here mm-hmm -mm. And even if I could muster up the kind of support, I couldn't get away with it. Not after such a public display of loss as today. Mm -hmm. And I suspect it's only a matter of time before he makes a move against me. Mm -hmm. That's what you were being told. You want me to believe that you have some concern for me and show it. <laughs> I know his crew hold an asset from their last prize that they deem of great value.
Okay, this Jack and Max side story. I find it interesting a smidge, but I don't know how much time of storytelling I want it to take away from the other events that are happening because there's lots of crap going down right now. What I've found in my experience is the more elusive the puzzle, the more painfully obvious its ultimate solution. I was wondering if he was going to uh, suggest something because this threesome has to mean something later on. Like you will provide all leads derived from this place directly to me. Anne and I will then take those chosen leads, we'll procure a ship, we will recruit men, and we will create from nothing a new crew, from which we three will each hold a share. Oh. <laughs> Period. I give you Captain Jack Rackham. Ooh. But please know that all I have ever wanted for you is to be happy. Come to bed when you're through. So who's going to take over the brothel if they go? Oh, God. Was it close? Mm. The vote? Hmm, they had a vote. It was. I suppose you warned me. Mm hmm Perhaps it was my hubris that drove me to it. To show you, I had it in me to lead. I think he was betting on that. I am forced to consider another possibility. That course we charted. Perhaps. None of us would have thought of it at all. <laughs> Had you not raised it in the first place. You took the bait, though. You took the bait. The death. The destruction. Mm -hmm. All to achieve this very moment. Again, you took the bait. Is it possible a man could do such a thing? He's the captain for a reason. So how long was he with the walrus? Like, was it decades, a couple years, a few months? Because how strange would it be getting used to an entirely new ship? Oh, he's got on this captain's coat. Wow. El Capitan. of armchair quarterbacking on this episode of what again and also when you watch things and you react to things you always come at it with a your own experience knowledge observation so you always throw in i would do this that's why some shows you connect with some shows don't because either the characters behave how you want them to or they behave so contrary to what you would do that it drives you insane and you just can't handle anymore so yeah, if I were Eleanor and I was putting together this money-making thing that required with men very high testosterone, all, all violent, they're pirates. They're not gentlemen bandits, they're pirates. So you've got men with violent tendencies that you are trying to be in control of. And then you've got the most psychotic of the psychos, obviously immediately making threats you've got to sniff that fire out now because now she's got a wildfire on that island she can't put out so even if charles does whatever charles is going to do eleanor has lost all power right because her name now isn't good anymore what does she have nothing Eleanor. And we've only saw the one guy kind of be her muscle. She needs more. Where were the other ones? Where were the other ones when this all was going down? That they let the bar be taken over by such atrocity so quickly. It will take a miracle to put Eleanor on top of anything. I don't think she's ever going to get ahead. And I need Ned to die. Now. Flint with the frame. And the ship. What's fascinating about that whole little thread in this episode was that it was so telegraphed. You knew exactly what he was doing. You knew exactly. Frank and DeGroote even said out loud, 
oh, why is he putting this in our heads? You knew it was going to happen. And yet they went and did it anyway. <laughs> you can't be mad at him because you got played. Because obviously you were told up front you're going to get played. And then we have the Jack, Max, and Triad. I will be more interested in what happens with them if it feeds more into the overarching goal of the story, which is Nassau. Ooh, right. Nassau and the business and the people and, and just Nassau being successful. At this point, I don't know how it's going to fit in yet, so I don't know how much I want to care. Am I interested in it? A smidge, not a curiosity, but it's not holding my attention as much as the other storylines which brings me to the thought that i keep forgetting which is all this discussion of especially with um flint who wasn't flint then in hamilton back in england and talking about why they're going to nassau and what they want to accomplish and do and whatnot because of the dirty governors and the dirty lords and nothing's getting done nothing's prospering because everyone's out for themselves so the pirates have come because they know it's a weak led place of opportunity but then i was thinking that's such a colonizing idea because there were people there having lives for millennia before you white asses got there. <laughs> um, can you let the people rule themselves? The indigenous people there, I think we're pretty fine without without you. How about you just get them all, get, grab your cronies and just go back to England? <laughs> but that's not what happened. That's not how the course of history read. And it just... This makes me laugh. This makes me laugh. So if Flint is successful in getting the gold, what is he bringing it back to? What will be there? And who was the girl on the ship? How is she going to play into it? I wonder. And how does John <laughs> ride this wave? Okay, but well, there we go. Episode two. Mm, thank you so much for being with me. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And so until next time, this is your reminder to stand up, walk around your room a little bit, stretch your body, I'll go grab another glass of water, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.